if you think about Coke, they've challenged to, to grow their top line for a number of years. And since James Quincy has taken over, you've started to see that top line steadily improve. And 5% organic growth is pretty remarkable in this environment for a consumer staples company. Yeah, where else are they going to find this growth? And, and I'm also wondering, what areas are you most concerned about also? Because even though they're, uh, the rising costs are an indirect uh, cost to them, yeah. uh, indirect impact, uh, you know, we heard from GM, for instance, that a bulk of their rising costs or, or the $1 billion extra that they're seeing this year is some currency exposure, Forex. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a funny thing. Historically, when currencies go against Coke, they actually have to lower numbers. And this is one of the very few times that I've seen covering the stock a very long time where numbers are actually going up. Uh, so I think this shows that this is a very new company, a very different company than what we're normally accustomed to. Uh, they have a much more aggressive tact on cost cutting and they are managing their top line much better, and they're navigating the environment much better. So what worries me is just geopolitical issues, right? You had a trucker strike in Brazil. You have uh, turmoil in the Middle East. You have a sugar tax in South Africa. Those very small, discrete issues can add up if, if it all hits in the same quarter. So those are the things that I worry about when it comes to Coca-Cola. Is this your best idea in the sector? It's my favorite mega cap idea. So when you think about Procter & Gamble, Colgate, Kimberly Clark, PepsiCo, uh, Coke has been our preferred mega cap name uh, for, for the last uh, year. You're asking about Diet Coke on the conference call, Nick. What are you worried about there? What are you looking for? Well, Diet Coke has been under a lot of pressure, and the trends have been very good. So what I was trying to understand from the management team is, is this really just distribution, new products getting put into the retail outlets, or is this really a function of consumers coming back to the are Diet Coke Are you talking Coke about franchise? the new flavors for Diet Coke? Yeah, they've yeah. relaunched new flavors in Slim Cans. Mm -hmm. and, and I guess what we're seeing is new, new consumers are coming into the franchise. And even old lapsed consumers are coming back to Diet Coke. So that's a very positive sign. I've tried them. I like them. <laughs> hey, they got some pretty neat uh, flavors. Lime blood ginger, orange. blood orange. Yeah. And now they're going into the UK. So. I just like the Slim Cans. Yeah. I can't drink a whole can of Coke anymore. <laughs> yeah. There they are. That's the ones we're they're talking about right cans. there. Boomers. <laughs> Boomer cans. Nick, thanks. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.